Welcome to the 34 mile Pioneer Century Route. While registration at the start is very organized, pre-registration is highly recommended. After noodling around the Canby suburbs for a mile or so, you'll turn right and find yourself on the County Logging Road bike path. A wonderful example of turning rails to trails. Shortly after the bike path, You'll drop down and then climb out of the Malala River Valley. It's a great view of the river from the bridge. Just after the climb, there's the left turn onto Cracksburger Road. Be extremely careful on this intersection. Shortly after the left turn, you'll be flying south and enjoying the beautiful farmland views of Elliott Prairie. While the route south is mainly flat, there are a few drops and climbs in and out of creek bottoms. The 34 mile riders split off from the 55 mile riders at Tolliver and Dryland Road. Here we'll continue south enjoying not only some farmland views but some great views of the Cascade Mountains, at least on a clear day. Do you remember when we used to sit and talk all night? At mile 15, there's the trickiest part of the ride. You'll start to drop into Bear Creek, but make a sudden, sharp, uphill turn onto Schneider Road. Be sure to downshift before you get to the climb, and also beware of gravel on the turn. At about mile 19 of the ride, you'll rejoin the 55 mile riders while you continue to head west on Schneider Road. Finally, at mile 20, there is a rest stop at the intersection of Schneider and Meridian Roads. One thing about the Portland Wheelman is they really know how to stock a rest stop. It's great fresh fruit, goodies to eat, and friendly volunteers. After the rest stop, you begin to wend your way north. The second part of the ride differs a bit from the first part. While mainly flat, there will be a bit more hills than you encountered in the first part of the ride as you descend and climb several times in and out of Rock Creek and Bear Creek. Beware of high-speed cows. At Whiskey Hill Road, you'll pass School 91 and the Line Art International Airport before a fast descent and then climb out of Rock Creek, one of several that you'll do on this section of the ride. The climb out of Rock Creek is steep, but mercifully fairly short. And by the time you turn east on Zimmerman Road, you've got about 10 miles left to go. This four mile stretch of Elliott Prairie is especially beautiful, with low traffic roads, varied farmlands and nursery operations, and some great views of the Cascades. With about five miles left to go, you'll turn left and head north on Highway 170. Be extremely careful making this left turn as traffic moves right along on Highway 170. With about four miles left to go, you'll drop once more into the Malala River Basin and face the last climb of the day. Soon after, it's just a ride through town crossing 99E, and you are basically home.
Upon your return at the Canby Fairgrounds, you can have a great lunch provided by the Portland Wheelman. Thanks for watching.